Ask for the truth on behalf of Celtic Cumber concerning career issues. Uh, concerning a student placement on the 19th of October this, uh, this month here, 2018. Um, uh, well, we'll, we'll all be well. Uh, what, what complications? What's going on here? Um, uh, we just asked for a bit of insight and guidance uh, concerning this issue. In the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth always. And we just cut the duck and uh, just place it to the side here. We'll deal out three cards. The first card is in the possession of the recent past, this is a period of time between now and this time last month, about past three or four weeks or so. Um, the next card, of course, is the present, so that's uh, Celtic Kemba right now. And then Celtic Kemba in the immediate future, which is a period of time between now and this time next month, about 28 days, about a moon phase, about a month, as you could call it there. Uh, that's that. So let's just see now. Uh, what's been going on over the past three or four weeks or so concerning this uh, student placement that you've been going on about? What energies have been vibrating maybe to cause something or to benefit you in some way or what? Well, just flip the card nice and slowly, not to reveal its energy too quickly there. And notice you've got serendipity. So it looks as though luck has been on your side, doesn't it? Really, uh, regardless of any concerns... Um, it just indicates that a bright new prospect uh, is on the horizon concerning this issue, or has been. Bright new prospects have been on the horizon concerning this student placement. And uh, of course, the last thing we want is for something to go wrong now or in the immediate future, isn't it? Uh, between now and the 19th, of course. Uh, and, and this energy will uh, uh, speak about now. Uh, and then the next card will speak about the immediate future, which is um, between now and this time next month. So let's just see what's happening now, though. Notice you've got the uh, the seer. The seer represents your intuition. Her energy just speaks about you following your intuition right now, and that's all you can do. She just advises you to, to just, if it looks like a duck, Feels like a duck, sounds like a duck, quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, flaps its wings like a duck. It's probably a duck. Uh, and in that sort of sense, if things seem to be going okay, then they probably are. If things aren't, and you can see a way around this, then use your intuition to work a way around this up to the 19th. And, and really, sometimes, just sometimes, um, we are the only people who can who can actually see what's going on. We're the only ones with the foresight. And it just looks as though maybe the cards here at the moment, uh, the energies here present, shuffled on your behalf, of course, are just saying that just sometimes, maybe in this case, you are the only one who can read for yourself by using your own intuition and following the spirit, following the spirit of that. But fulfilment and rejuvenation in the immediate future does sort of indicate maybe fulfilment of the serendip serendipity with the chalice from the treasury there just indicating it's a womb of the goddess isn't it water and feelings and things like that of course uh, goddess nurtures as well doesn't she but in this particular case the serendipity manifests in itself as fulfilment so it looks as though really you've got not much to worry about just follow your intuition that's all you can do and uh, sometimes, as I said, just sometimes, maybe readings uh, are more suitable for you to do than for us. But nevertheless, it's nice to just have clarification. It's nice to know that the cards do speak the truth. And the truth has now been spoken. <laughs>